This morning? Well, my baby boy's still engaged. My hot flashes are back, so I feel like I'm standing in a pool of burning lava. <laughs> they don't make a pill for menopause, so I took a Flintstone vitamin. <laughs> And when you take a pill shaped like Barney Rubble, it's pretty obvious the freaking thing ain't gonna work! Great. <clears throat> anyway, about the engagement. I've got Eric and Donna on the ropes. I dared them to get married next week. They were shaken like France. Well, I know you like scaring children, but what's the point? Well, the point is, if we let them do what they want, they'll realize they don't want to do it. I mean, hell, nobody wants to be married. <laughs> Except me to you, I'd do that all over again. Oh, is Steve here? He saw me on the couch with Michael, but there was nothing going on. God, what do I do if he doesn't believe me, Mr. Foreman? When the hell did this start? The kids all used to run from me. That's the way I liked it. Mm. Well, next fall, you'll get your wish. Eric will be in college, and then the, the whole house will be empty. That's right. We're only one goodbye away from heaven. Mommy, Daddy, I'm home! We gotta start locking that door. Well, if it isn't the lovebirds. So, lovebirds. How are the big wedding plans coming along? Well... I've decided to be the groom. <laughs> and, uh, Donna's gonna go with bride. Well, your mom and I made some plans, too. We figure, since we're already giving you a graduation party, why not make it a wedding party, too? <laughs> Wait, graduation? That's in a week. Which is like... Seven days. I know how long a week is. <laughs> well, what's the matter? You two lovebirds still want to get married, don't you? I mean, heck, it'd be a real shame if you chickened out. Then you'd be a couple of love chickens. No. No, we want to get married. Right, Donna? Of course. I do. Well, then it's settled. We're having a wedding. <laughs> oh, Donna, you can wear my wedding dress. It's off-white, so nobody will whisper. <laughs> okay. What is going on with him, anyway? Eric, if you need any help dealing with Mom and Dad, I'm here for you. Yeah, it's no thanks. <laughs> Last time I trusted you, I wound up in the dryer with a pillowcase full of bees, so... I know. And I am so sorry. I have been cruel to you, Eric. You too, Donna. But it wasn't as obvious because I mostly said stuff behind your back. Right back at you. I'm not just home for a visit. I am here to correct the mistakes that I have made in the past. Okay, but I'm sure whatever bastard children you've had have been adopted by now. <laughs>